Hi, good day. Uh, so to remember what happened, I had an Amiga 500, such as this one, right here, that would not fire up. So I have taken every single chip out of it and put it into this other machine, and everything seems just fine. Um, so what I'm going to try to do now, if I can, I'm going to see if these things will reach, is I want to test the disk drive. But I really don't want to take it out. So, I'm going to move the cables away. I can't make them fit. Okay, the power is on. Now, once again, ooh, that's mighty short. Is this longer? Well, maybe if I lean this over a bit. So I know where the red the red thing should go. Hello. Oh, this cable is in the way. Okay. Ribbon cable out. Well this could be one of those examples of let's save time. doesn't feel right. You know what? I think I missed half the pins. Oh, hang on. Okay, now I, I know it. I can feel I missed half the pins. It's not. It feels right, but it's not happening. Okay. Well. Okay. So I think we are on. So let's see. is asking for a workbench. So we'll pop in a disc and we'll see what we hear. And so far it seems pretty okay. It's funny though, this disk drive I don't know. I'm not sure it's an original. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just somebody tried to put it in and kinda of missed there's an extra sort of screw hole looking thing. Maybe some Oh, you know what? It looks like maybe there's some upside down tape. Tape because there's two little indentations where I think the screw thing should be. Maybe somebody put it on backwards and then missed because they couldn't see the screw hole. Why? Because they put the tape on backwards or the tape was on backwards. Anyway, this has fired up. So, the 
poppy seems good. Amen. So. Now. Get this off. Gently. Firmly. Gingerly. Happily. Joyfully. Okay. So now. We'll put this back. No, we won't because we got chips to put in. Okay, so I'm going to set that there. Oh, my golly. Okay, something went bad here. How did that happen? There's a pin to this drive cable. That is way out. Maybe it's not necessary. Maybe it just got a little wee bent. But mind you, we've been pulling. Been pulling these on and off for a while. Okay, that looks better. Um, yes. So, what are we doing? We're going to put this back on. And we're going to put it on here, and we're going to put it on properly, and we're not going to miss any pins. should come up and ask for workbench. But we're not going to give it to it. Oh, not yet. Because it's all good. Okay. So, I think we're going to get this machine out of the way, in a safe place, I think, I'll tuck it in the front with the other one that we've been testing, because right here, right now, we've got this machine here, and it's funny, there's a sticker here, yeah, I guess it's on. Sort of, it's kind of ripped off. This one says 87, 88. I don't remember what the other one said. But this definitely is not as friendly in terms of what it's got written on it. This must be an earlier. It must be. Because I see this other wire, which I suspect was fixed on later versions. <sighs> Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to bring this back up here. Because I certainly don't want to put the wrong chip in the wrong place. So, we have taken everything. We have. So this could be some other failure, or it could just be everything needed to be reseated. So, first... Carefully line up and put in the 68,000. What do we have here? Oh, no, those are not. Those are some of the others. We have 8362 R8. That's probably it is. Denise. Alright, we have it lined up. Pins are good. We can put it in. Looks good. We have 8364R7. That is Paula. We have it configured. The pins are good. Oops. Hello. We're in. This is probably Gary, because that's the next one we took out. 57, 19. Oh, it might not be at all. Yeah, it is. Alright, Gary. 
Again, we're looking good. Count for pressure. Burn. Here, there's a CIA. Count for pressure. Burn. This is also a CIA. This is the one. A little dent pin. Okay. A witness mark. Gentle pressure. We're in. Now over here. That's kickstart. I'm going to put Agnes in first. Shabu! Agnes is in. Now. You know what? I know this machine over here is working. I'm just going to try to fire this up with kickstart 1.3 why? I don't know seems like a good thing this pin is a little bent and it's a little closer to the next one than I would like but we're doing alright so we line her up Gentle pressure. We're in. So, we're going to take and hook up the drive. We're in right. We're going to get the power. Yeah, this has got to be an earlier board because it, it doesn't have the niceties in terms of even the power connectors. Well, in terms of large components, there is nothing wrong. So, turn it on. I heard the noises. Workbench, 1.3. We'll pop it in. Let's see what happens. So, this, in fact, could be a, a case, really, of um, needing to reseat the chips. Because so far, we've really done nothing except swap the chips. But this would not come up before. So, after this does its thing, then I'm going to switch back to the 2.04 ROM chip that um, is in here and try this again and see what's what. Well that is a happy ending, assuming that is a happy ending. Okay. What's up? See, there is, of course, micro corrosion. You can't see it. You can't, like, there's no way to really detect it. But these things have been sitting around for a very long time. Alright, so there is Kickstart 1.3. Back into the original Omega, and just because no, I'm not gonna. Okay, that should be fine. I'm 
now. I'm gonna go for kickstart 2.04. Being very careful not to screw the wire up. And I'm gonna turn this on. And it comes up and asks for the disc. It's funny, I was reading a thing online about the old pets and this fellow who no longer does things. But one of the first things he said is, take an eraser and just tidy up all the pins. Which, of course, that means you got to take them out. So besides taking the eraser and tidying them up, is also, which reseats them, and, you know, if there's any micro corrosion, it should bust it free. Um, but anyway, the eraser would help in, I guess, getting any other little stuff off. So, there it is. Well, we're doing pretty well on these. Um, we started with seven. Okay, it's telling me I can't find some things. Can't find, can't find. I do the rad, rad, you know, you know, whatever. This is, I think, a weird workbenchy thing. So anyway, in terms of circuit boards, we started with seven. No, sorry, sorry, eight now. Eight circuit boards. One toast, 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 toast. Been, been massacred and scavenged. But of the other seven, we had two that came up and a bunch that didn't. And what we have now is we have another one with a working disk drive. And everything seems fine. And all we did was essentially reseat the chips. Which, of course, if I'd really just reseated the chips, it would have taken a lot less time. But testing them one by one by one ensures that, of course, I know what's what, I think. So, this is good. So I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to, so I need to make it. Okay. Alright. So. I'll just put that on there. And we'll take it away. I'm going to put it down with inside the Omega 2000 case and the other one that was not working. And now it's working. So, and now, just to make sure that we have done no harm, I'll turn this on, get everything in, turn it on, and we'll come up and answer workbench. I will give it workbench, it will chew it up, and we're good. So, another successful operation. Rich, if you have watched me for a while, as you know, this does not happen often. So, we're still looking for a disk drive for the one Omega 500. Um, and of course, we still have a 2000 that seems to be quite um, dead, probably from the battery corrosion. Um, I guess another thing I have to do at some point is I have to put, you know, keyboards and things back in to the Amigas and test them out and mice and things. But um, I'm pretty confident we're doing well. So, this is just firing up. Stay tuned. 
Um, I suspect we're going to tackle another Amiga 500. I suspect. Yep, it fired up. So, we're doing well. Bye for now.